Chip E. e- Ekwe was a cryptid, unregulated, reported from freshwater habitats, Zimba, Zim, Zimbabwe, particularly around the Bering Rulu wetlands, but also from the cave few flats and lakes and rivers and the source of the River Congo. The name was most commonly applied to horn and busy amphibious patch high gem. Which is often called water rhinoceros, and is thought to be identical to M. M. Mel A. Ant. Tu. Tu. Cac. As the term chip kiwi is thought to be equivalent to water monster, this disparent cryptids from the region have been termed chikwaris. They are the the Mukului Mamami, the water lions, the confusing descriptions that have given risen rise to popular image of the Chippewi as a Nero dinosaurian cryptid similar to theropod or sauropod dinosaur had been mistakenly associated with two famous and famous hoaxes. The great Botrosaurus Bo- hoax and the Kasari hoax, Rex hoax. The Chippewi was first attracted the attention of Europeans shortly after the turn of the 20th century, when he would become what, what when what would become northern Rhodesia, then Zambia was still north eastern Rhodesia and northwestern Rhodesia. Reports of Atlantic and aquatic rhinoceroses like animals came out of both of these colonies. Chickabee was described for the first time in nineteen oh seven, a mythical hippo eating water rhinoceros native to Lake Cherogui on the Kutfu Flats shortly afterwards, British ambassador and hunter Chancey Stigland. So 1877 to 1919, referred to the native rumour of water rhino in Lake Bang Iwulu. Best known early accounts are those associated with German explorer Hans Stuckelberg, 1880, 1880 to 1967, employee Karl Hennebach, 1884 to 1913, upon arriving in the Lake Bang Stoke Sukumberk discovered that the hypopotamies were rare in the marshes despite ideal habitation for them. Local people told him the hippos avoided the area because a somewhat sim- smaller animal happened in the lake is killed and possibly fed on them. Sukumberk initially took this killer of hippos to be a myth, but changed his mind after hearing other accounts of neurodinosaurs gathered by Herenbeck. Stuckenberg also heard stories of the unknown Rhodesian lake animal from Sting, Stanford or Stanford of Fort Jameson. His accounts alongside several others interested Hogenberg, who outfitted an expedition to search for the animal, which he believed he should be a seropod like. The expedition was unsuccessful, but Hogenberg later, later received accounts of unknown power. Sheridodons, dims, from near Lake Tagajeraki. During the media attention given to the Harrenbach's claims in 1910, an anonymous but supposedly well-known Rhodesian sent a letter to Bororo Chronicle, which he had previously sent to Dodologist C. E. C. Chubb, in which he described a freehorn water rhino, which he thought might have something to do with the Bronchosaurus, this animal is said to exist in Lake Baru and Kalu Flats, an individual actually allegedly been seen near Mashabu, north of Lakishu. Shura.
At the same time, Big Game Hunter, Owen Letcher, 1884-1943, was collecting reports of Chakawi, again described as a water rhinoceros, an Ashura people. In 1911, he, even gave, he was able to give an account of paper of a Rhodesian Big Game, read between read before Rhodesia Scientific Association. Again, his book, book game, Big Game Hunting in Northeastern Rhodesia, 1911, the Ashawa told him that the Chik- Chippewi lived or used to live in the deepest waters of the Congo Zambari watershed along the Langawa and Langaray rivers, Lake Maruru. Had been seen, not been seen since the water level of the guru had fallen. Described as hippopotamus like animal, with one or two rhinoceroses like horns, and one elderly Eshawa head, headman claimed his father had shot the specimen with a gun given to him by an Arab. 1911 Chikabui Chik- was well known within Rhodesia. Though it was described as having three horns, unlike in later reports, in 1912, Lieutenant Frederick Paul Gosuru, Gosuru, 1875-1698, published his description of Nerasuri, a reptilian animal, allegedly found in Baruru waterlands, which was subsequently incorporated with Chichikawi's story. Late 1919, in the height of the great Pontocarius hoax, it's probably been partly inspired by reports of Heidelberg and Stubberwick. G. C. G. James wrote to the Daily Mail, putting the alleged existence of a large, one-horned swamp animal in the wetlands of Bakuru, Maru, and Kafaru. James also said that while the Chikawi was a frequent topic of the conversation among the Africans. He knew nobody ever claimed to have seen it for themselves, and several other people told him the fa- that their fathers had seen one. Closest account known to James was that of a man, from, uh, that of a man named Sarah Amhulu, who claimed to examine a hippopotamus that had been killed by a chickawee, which had been found near some very, some very large hippo tracks. In the same year, also in response to the giant, great giant Hippocontus Protochorus hoax, the yeah, Australian naturalist G.E. Archer Rush, Rush, Russell wrote that he had also received a council of Chikawi, Luwawa, Lulu, Lauru, from the Congo Labesi watershed. He told it still lurked in the marshes of the Gu and Kapapu rivers. Shortly after, in 1922, explorer Thomas Alexander Barnes, 1881 to 1930, wrote the Chiku- Chippewi Kiwi, had been described to him by the Baguru people, by Gangarulu, as water rhinoceroses. Their bones, one of these animals, inverted, were to be found in the swamps. In 1925, Naturalist John G. Morales, 1865 to 1931, communicated information on Ch- Chapuikui to big game hunter David, Dennis David Lowell, 1887 to 1946. Later in 1931, 1932, when Stoddard led an expedition to Angola, his Pokerjee's interpreter, Jim Minnies, told him that an animal called a chicku, Chippewi had lived in the lake of Lake Dururu in, the, in that country. So the word chauffeur Frank Gobbler claimed that the local people told him the Chippewi, as he spelt it, on the Dururu marshes, also referred to as a water lion, was an enormous lizard like animal known to eat hippos and elephants, which, which is left tracks like those of a crocodile, but much larger. Gubler subsequently mistook the Karaziri Rex photograph for a genuine photo of Chip Ikui, eventually in Boiling, Boiling Zuckerberg in a fur dinosaur related media circus. Also in 1931, the Lunaris Clement Martin Duke, 1893 to 1980, published a description of a similar animal known to the Dabari people of Zambia. 
the itch a kuga, which he believed to be mythical. This was a rhinoceros-like animal of the Kofu River, with a single horn which stalked and killed it both, but ate only grass. The most concrete Chippewa reports were gathered by Joseph Edward Hughes, 1886 1935, a colonial administrator, and Turn hunter and trader who spent the years 1901 to 1910, 1919, on Lake Baruru in Zavaros, and whose book, 18 Years of Lake Baruru, 1933, features accounts of Chip Iwi from the time frame in the same year. And it, Alpha James Stiggins, 1880, 1870, claimed the Chikawi was reported by Lake Arama in Murmur's Beak. Big Game Hunter Major Howard Conway, Maiden, 1884 to 1944, put it to Frank Lane that supposedly existed in a similar water monster in ne- nearby Lake Maruru. In 1935, Dennis Lowell recorded receiving his own accounts of the Chickawee, described him as a hippo-sized animal with horns and its face like a rhinoceros. None of Rail's informants claimed to have seen a Chickawee all them- for themselves. Two years later, the famous Rhodesian pioneer, Chipper Parla Stevenson, like, included a chapter on the Chickawee Chippewa in his book Chirpa Pala's Tales of Byway to Indo African History, 1837, with features, descriptions, and alleged sightings of the cryptid supposed to be supposed to have collected, been collected in early 1901. Stevenson found that although almost everyone he spoke to believed the Chickawee in the Chickawee, few people actually claimed to have seen one for themselves. Stevenson described the Chickawee as a Exceptionally rare, found only in the deepest of waters. Although Chippewa Stevenson found only two alleged directed, direct Chickawee eyewitnesses in 1901, he received a number of second hand accounts of people living in Mishiru district. Mishiru said he said he had seen a bull hippo stab behind the shoulder, which his father said had been killed by Chickawee. Makaruo said he'd seen a spore in the mud of the Karoo River some years previously. It had three toes, as like a rhinos. It was like a rhino spore. It set the middle of the toe, instead of being moon-shaped, was sharply pointed. Mashuri's nephew said a little chickawee had floated up in the river lower. It's a farrier, and people burnt it. They held it. To be uncanny, Mogashu Kororu said he heard of a Chikawi being found dead on the banks of Kufru, away in Chimara's county. But of course, he hadn't seen it. Anthony Lawman, Rhodesian civil servant during the 1940s and 1950s, found the Bakaru locals still greatly feared by the Chikawi at that time, believing it had a powerful sense of hearing. He remained silent while passing places the Chikawi was said to live. During the expedition in the Lugaru region of Angolia, 1950s, big game hunter Joseph F. Kuzrai interviewed local people regarding the Chikawi, but found that although it had known was known in the region, nobody had seen it for themselves. Kun Fururu, a Mesuru, and Galaroi peoples of southern Angolia called the animal Rengolio. Most recent accounts are those of the Ukrainian Russian journalist Sagari Kadarov Kuru K nineteen thirty nine who claimed to have been had an information of Chikawi from Zambian biologists identified as Pete or Peter. According to Kuru Kai, people living in the marshland between the Sururu National Park and Maru Wantoha Natural Park in the extreme north of Zambia. Still claim the hippos are, were unknown in the wetlands of Kusapurtri Chikawee. Kako published information in one of his books, possibly Safaris Punt S V A Po Vas O Chionoi.
1971. At least three disparate cryptids in Lake Karuru, the Bowman wetlands, have termed Shikawi, one like the Emiru Nukuru, one like the Mukuru Mac- memory, one like a water lion. The latter two are known only from the single sightings, and the former is better associated. The large version, the horn version, is described as large and tough, ambiguous animal with large, smooth, hairless skin. Always distinguished by a large horn, tusk of rhinoceros like horns, which are often alleged to be smooth, white ivory. Earlier accounts sometimes make it may give it multiple horns, according to up to three, but usually only one single horn. It was alleged Stevenson's informants described it smaller, just four feet in height. Otherwise, gave the same description as white water of rhinoceros, a long white horn on its nose. According to Girl Karu, the Tawa people who inhabit it remote wetlands of Zambia, described the Chikawitwi as resembling a rhinoceros calf, but hairier with longer neck. Alleged eyewitness from Burkaru waterlands gave this. Different description, allegedly claiming a chickawee was large, flipped, flippered animal with long tusk or fangs as opposed to horns. Unlike Karoo's informants, he claimed that chickawee was covered in shaggy hair instead of soft skin, smooth skin. His supposed tracks are like those of hippopotamus, rhinoceros, but larger, and sometimes said to bear a sharp middle toe, like an imiel nekarurai. Like many other African cryptids, it's said to kill hippos, but does not eat them. Most recalled sightings do not include physical descriptions. Very few people claim to have seen Chikawi, which was reputed to be shy, extremely rare, habiting deep pools and rivers. Sightings in Ushuai or Asheru tradition tells the Chikawi hut hunt in the deep waters of the Ruru River, affluent of the Congo, which joins lakes Baruru and Maruru. According to the version given to Joseph, to Joseph Hughes by Koshore, son of Panama, chief Maruru Maruri, it took many of the best hunters the whole day, spearing it with large Ruru hoopoes, the same as they used today for the hippo. It's described as having a smooth, dark body without bristles, Arm with a single smooth white horn, fixed like a horn of rhinoceros, but composed of smooth white ivory, very highly polished. 1840, 1840, a Muslim elephant tracker named Kaburu told Stevenson he had seen a chikawi chasing a hippo in Lake Tragora and in the east shore of Tunisia, but his memory is sighting which had taken place some 60 years previously. He said that near Jugoro, far away in Chagoro River, itself had seen a hippo that was being chased by Chikawi. Some of his friends had killed it, or at least they might have killed it. As the incident happened some sixty years ago, he came to think of it, but he couldn't be sure of what of on that point. Nineteen oh one Lewis de Fries, eighteen about 1867 or 1868 to 1956, trading naturist and noted big game hunter, working for the Russian government, allegedly saw and shot a chikawi in early 1901, a very deep lake in Kaburu, a Kafiru region. Thomas Alexander Barnes and Kuf- Chipperaro de Jefferson both published accounts of Chipperaro's sightings received directly from alleged eyewitness himself. Duvuri's put in his tent nearby and then by and then the, towards evening while strolling to the water's edge with his rifle, he struggled to see the massive form lying or floating on the water. Now the Duvuri's was a very old resident in Central Africa, a new hippo as you, dear reader, or I, know a bull in the field. But better, he effortlessly states it was not a hippo. 
He describes a long, dark, floating body at which he fired and which he hit, being not more than sixty yards from it. Whereupon the animal disappeared amidst a considerable commotion in the water. He never saw the beast again, though he waited on hold the next day on the off chance and on more and moreover he examined the complete article in the lake circle of Lake of Spore of Spore. They found no large tracks of any description leading neither leading nor or to the water. He reported the matter to Sir Richard to Robert Cod Cordinium, from the, who was then the minister and minister for Northern Rhodesia, and wrote a report to some museum authorities where the matter dropped where the, the, the matter dropped. In his book in his nineteen seventy seven thirty seven book, Stevenson reported in nineteen seventy one of the Fries reported informed him. And Francis and Fletcher Jones, 1868 to 1930, is seen and shot at a horned rhinoceros like animal Lake Chowa. Well, one early one more, more evening, it seems that the Louis de Trees was out for stroll along the shore when he saw some large obj object floating on top of the water. He made out a bed out ahead, but it wasn't. Certainly a crocodile. He made out the ears. He certainly wasn't the ears of a hippo. And stranger still, he did still more quite distinctly what ha appeared to be a large horn. It looked almost like a rhino. But of course it couldn't be a rhino. He seized his rifle, fired and missed the animal. Sank immediately out of sight. Gordon says to Stevenson, his own headman, identified the animal, the three as the scene as Chickawee. However, when Jackson who has heard of from official Davidson a rumour of mysterious apparitions in the lake, investigating prior to the publication of Stevenson's claim, found a nephew the chief of Kaburu, and never heard of any unknown animal being seen in the lake Chara. A man claimed the rumour had been originated from a white hunter amusing himself by pulling a leg of visiting a missionary. However, either Stevenson nor Jones were missionaries. 1920s in 1920 in Broken Hill, Colonel Minister Fakara Baru McCree heard of an account of Chickawee given by E. B. Goodwin, who was then a native commissioner of Broken Hill, but later senior provincial commissioner of Northern Rhodesia. The informant of Chickawee Man claimed he had seen Chickawee multiple times and gave a unique description of the animal. McCree was unable to speak Chickawee. Yeah. But claimed he didn't, could understand a man's statement. He described the chickawee as a rather larger than that of a hippopotamus, covered with shaggy hair and endowed with flippers, instead of legs and feet. He also added it had two large teeth and projected downwards, like those of a saber toothed tiger. He said the animal would kill the hippopotamus. And that he had several times seen, but not one, but three, two or three of these monsters playing about in shallow swamps of lake, edge of Lake Banguru. I may say that neither of us believed him then, and the passage of years has not provided any confirmation evidence, and might tend to take me more, make me more credulous now. Before 1933, in later years, a number of Chickawee Countess Council transmitted to Joseph Hughes by Robert Young, former namesake of Lake Young, Lake Nishiru in the early days of British administration of Rhodesia. Young was exploring a lake which bore his name. He sh took a shot of what looked like a duck among the some floating vegetation. When he did so, the object died, leaving a white water weight like made by screw streamer. At Leverston, the, the explorer Frederick George Jackson, 1860-1938, had a similar but third-hand story, which a white man shot a wooden animal with a duck-like body, a long neck and a long head, in Lake Chirikchidawa, Ch head to Crow Kuru, Kuru, Road, 1865-1893, to 1864, retired magistrate, who was district commissioner for Kasura, told Hughes of an incident which occurred by a small, very deep lake, 
which he camped by. He heard a loud splashing during the night and found identifiable tracks in the following morning. Corrode was in, in North, North Rhodesia, Eastern Rhodesia and Northern Rhodesia from 1894 to 1924. I believe to be capable of identifying the tracks of all local animals. Corrode also passed on another chickawee in its account of to use. This one originated in Rhodesia pioneer, R. M. Green, who arrived in the region in around 1906. Local people told Green that chickawee had torn the throat of a hippopotamus, Lake Lukuro River. During the 1940s and 50s, several elderly men living on Lake Barrowfru told Anthony Lawman that the chickawee had been seen on the western shore of Lake many years ago. They described it as having a massive head and long horns. A letter written to Frank Lane, <coughs> Hubert Maidum, stated that I met an old hunter prospector. <coughs> <coughs> Livingston is claimed to have seen an unknown aquatic animal. The tracks which he got a good look at Lake Maruru, 1970s. Sikowel Carew's informant Peter claimed to have seen, have sometimes seen an identical animal while flying over the eastern shores of Lake Bangaruru. Though he believed the chickawee to be a myth, Peter later proceeded to his friends in Port a herd of young hippos from the Lucasville Plains National Park, released in Maruru National Park. The next few weeks they all disappeared. By the time Europeans first began, began to hear stories of the chickawee, it's already said to be very rare, not if not recently extinct. While Robert Young believed the chickawee still existed in lakes, Hughes thought it was recently gone extinct. Water levels of water fell, where he and fell. His searches and his marshes and waterways revealed no evidence of the chickawee. In return, a ward which he offered for the evidence of his existence went unclaimed. Nesarell also believed it had gone extinct sometime during the 19th century. Hannemans argued it won that one is unlikely to successfully seek out a rare animal such a vast region of marshes. Ray P. Mackerel considered Hughes's collect- conclusion reasonable, while we are mainly open to the possibility that Chickawee had left the Boro region in some remote wetlands. Though local belief in Chickawee persisted late in the uh, late 1950s, Alan Chevrolet, a correspondent for Bernard Hall- Halloween's, wrote in 1966 that all the Bagaku locals he spoke to used the term chickawee to refer to known animals, leading him to suspect that it did not exist. If it did exist, it was by then extinct. However, Sirik Kuru later collected reports from the far north of Zambia, centred on the wetlands near Lake Maruru, Waterland. Theories it could apply to a strange or dangerous animal has certainly been applied to desperate cryptids. Horn, it could be compared to the Emu Nukuru, a long-necked Maru, known from a single sighting, considered regional version of Makuru, Makarulu Mambabi, 